Hello, Grandma DC here. No, I'm not making a political statement. Not at all. I would never do that. As a matter of fact, I am really afraid tomorrow is Tuesday voting day. And I am totally terrified that someone's going to get voted in. I loved that statement. I don't know what we're going to do. In all my born days, I have never seen anything like it. So, let me get my hair fixed. It's so important to be beautiful. I know that some of you are new to my channel. We are getting so many subscribers. <laughs> Thank you all so much. I love you all. Grandma loves you all. And, uh, and it's getting harder and harder to write back to everybody, but boy, am I trying. I, I think that this year has been really, it's really scary no matter who you are or what side you're on. And I frankly could care less. And we used to always tell our children and tell ourselves that it's so important to vote, so important to cast your opinion. And I think this year we've been so discouraged because we found out that it's not even counting it. Uh, it's all the electoral votes and which candidate owns what electoral person. No one ever looks at those electoral people, whoever they are out there, and we do not know. They are evil personified because they can be purchased. Many people in the United States should all get together and we should all buy an electoral vote. <laughs> Come here. I want to be one of those people that gets bought. <laughs> I'm sorry. If you're new to my channel, you don't know that I'm opinionated. Well, you don't know me very well. Because I'm going to tell you the truth and you can tell me the truth. And, you know, I'm fine with your opinion. If you don't know, I work with developmentally disabled people. I am used to different opinions every day. I'm used to being called names. I am used to uh, all kinds of unusual human beings and people and their opinions and their diets. And I don't care. What's right for you is right for you. The same with religion. What's right for you is right for you. What diet you do, what's right for you is right for you. And I'll say it over and over and over and over again. But you come to my channel and grandma will accept you the way you are. No matter how ugly you talk or act. <laughs> but I have had nothing but good on YouTube. I love you all so much. You don't even know. You've all been so understanding and, and all of my subscribers are such beautiful and sweet people. It's, it's amazing. I have not had a troll yet. I, you know, I said I'm looking forward to a troll. You got nothing nice to say. Come sit next to Grandma. She'll love you anyway. <laughs> That's my opinion on that. So, here's my morning keto coffee. Ah, uh -huh. mmm, so good. And I am going to break my chair. Oh my gosh. Hazel's gone home. My granddaughter. Sure is quiet around here, except for the chickens. I even think they're taking a day of rest. Hazel played with them all so much they all got tired. <laughs> Unfortunately, she couldn't play with the neighbor's guineas. Those things are out there screaming and yelling. So, what to do today? I gotta go back to work. So don't want to go back to work. Got a hundred things I should be doing. I stopped off on the way home from taking Hazel back. And I spent $7 and bought me a new little beater because... Grandma's old beater is nostalgic as it is, and as much as I love it, it's just a fast stir. And while I was at Big Lots, I found this, eight bucks, and it's a set of three of what I call cheesecake pans, the ones that had the release on the side. And today, what I'm going to do for a recipe is I'm going to try to make a vanilla angel food cake. Hazel ate all my chocolate angel food. <laughs> she also ate all my flax crackers. So uh, we'll be working on making more flax crackers. I loved all your ideas with the flax crackers. Some people are going to use seaweed. I'm actually going to grind up the uh, dehydrated broccoli I did, and I'm going to use it in my next cracker recipe. We're going to make green crackers. That'll be awesome, wouldn't it? It's just simple. Do them just like flax crackers, but just add some of your dehydrated ground up vegetables. Cooking is not difficult, and that's what I'm here to show people. Uh, cooking is common sense, taste, touch, smell, you cook from your heart and you see to your pants, and it almost always comes out. In my last video, I talked about don't sweat, 
your carb counts. Carbs are all different. And if it's a vegetable carb, you know, that's different than a sugar carb. We should be looking at those very differently, I think. I go by what raises my insulin or makes me start craving. If I feel like I eat something and then all of a sudden I'm like, oh, looking for the fridge fairy, did she leave something? Then I know that, that that's not good. I need to get away from that. Sometimes when our weight stalls, I know everyone's been like, oh my gosh, I should cut down on cheese. I should cut back on dairy. Yes, I've done that. And, and that might help. Exactly. It might. And then there's other people that can, can eat the, the whole whipping cream, like myself. I use a tablespoon or two in my coffee all the time. And uh, it doesn't seem to bother me. I, don't, I never crave heavy whipping cream. Uh, the same with vegetables. I've never craved a piece of celery. Swear to heavens. Never looked in the fridge to see if the fridge fairy brought celery. Brought celery. Did you say brought celery? That's my accent. Brought celery. Fridge fairy doesn't bring celery. And if she did... I would not want it. Therefore, I don't think that's a carb that's affecting me. <laughs> Listen to your bodies. That's what we have to do. And uh, so far, I'm feeling really good. This keto diet's working for me, and I hope it's working for you. Uh, like I said, it's not a fast weight loss. Don't expect to lose weight fast, okay? But it is a healthy mental health. For us older gals, I'm hearing over and over again people saying, Oh my God, the mental clarity. I, I feel so much brighter in the present moment. I feel so much better. And the weight comes off slowly, about a pound a week on average. And it, and it just kind of stays the same for a while and then drops. And even if I eat vegetables or sweet vegetables or carrots or you know, peppers and things, I don't start craving them and my weight doesn't go up, which is really odd. I like this diet for that. So I'm just telling you my experiences, your experiences I know are all different. Uh, we all have uh, opinions, just like we all have backsides. So I'm going to get ready here, and we are going to try for a vanilla plain angel food cake. And I'm going to do it in a cheesecake pan and see if that works. I know you're all waiting for this one. You love the chocolate one. Hang on. Let's hope this turns out. It'd be great for the holiday. scary on the political front for everyone no matter who you want and um, I've got to quit saying um